when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. I think it is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. I could either watch it happen or be a part of it. Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop, where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. I would like to die on Mars, just not on impact. If you're trying to create a company, it's like baking a cake. You have to have all the ingredients in the right proportion. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. It's okay to have your eggs in one basket as long as you control what happens to that basket. The first step is to establish that something is possible, then probability will occur. You shouldn't do things differently just because they're different. They need to be better. I think most of the important stuff on the internet has been built. There is going to be a refinement of what's already been built. Great companies are built on great products. The path to the CEO's office should not be through the CFO's office, and it should not be through the marketing department. It needs to be through engineering and design. I don't create companies for the sake of creating companies, but to get things done. If something has to be designed and invented, and you have to figure out how to ensure that the value of the thing you create is greater than the cost of the inputs, then that is probably my core skill. I think it is possible for a Tesla to be $25,000. My biggest mistake is probably weighing too much on someone's talent and not someone's personality. I think it matters whether someone has a good heart. I think life on Earth must be about more than just solving problems. It's got to be something inspiring, even if it is vicarious. I think it's important to reason from first principles rather than by analogy. The normal way we conduct our lives is we reason by analogy. We are doing this because it's like something else that was done, or it is like what other people are doing. With first principles, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths and then reason up from there.